Hi guys, hope you are all doing well and enjoying the weekend. I just thought I'd do a very quick video, this is not going to be a long one, but I just want to give you guys um, my take on what's happening with this market. I've seen a couple of you have uh, entered on the short side. Um, I wasn't around Friday afternoon, um, as you know I, I, I finish early on Fridays. Um, so I, here's, here's my take, I'll cut to the chase. I, I'm not going to short this market on Monday morning. Uh, I'm not convinced this is necessarily the top. I mean, we may go sideways or pull back slightly, but I do not believe it's a shorting opportunity. I mean, some of you have seen this sort of formation here on the daily chart. That to me is not a topping tail because look, if we zoom in, you know, we opened, let me get it right. We opened here. We, we've closed higher than where we opened. I know we've pulled back from that high. Um, really, if you compare it with this topping tail here that we had, uh, the big one, on the 7th, Wednesday, uh, 10 days ago, you know, the market was a very, very tense, very excited. You know, we'd, we'd already dropped 9% uh, and we got this big, big bounce and that was too fast too soon uh, it was one move up bang into the 50 ma and the money just came off and that was a proper proper topping tail with the close of the day at the low right the close of that candle was at the low now if you compare it with this plus furthermore let me just jump to the hourly chart i'm looking at the hourly chart let's go back to the seventh that was here look when we got that topping tail we closed below the, the 20 moving average on the hourly chart, this is the 60 minute chart now, uh, we closed below, the 20 MA is pointing downwards, or it was pointing downwards on that Wednesday, right, the 50 MA was also pointing downwards, the spiders were still in a downtrend, it got that relief bounce, and, uh, you know, putting all those factors together, back then, on the Wednesday, it was a no-brainer short, now, you know, we've come up gently. I, I know we've got this big green candle, but that's a small candle. That's not big. You know, that's not like a blow-off move. This is a blow. That that's too fast, too soon. You know, that that the spiders rose. You know, from bottom to top on that particular day, four percent in one day. Um, you know, that was a lot. And if you take it from that low to this top here, that was five a five percent move. You know, in twenty-four hours. That was too fast, and the market was very, very tense. It had just bounced off that big drop, so it was bound to get absolutely crushed. Here, we've gone up relatively gently. As I said in Thursday's video, we fill the gaps. Um, by the way, some of you are not getting my email alerts. When I put a trade alert out, while I'm doing it on the Facebook page and Twitter page, I'm sometimes putting out video uh, analysis um, analysis videos, and that's on the trade alerts page. So if you don't get the email, you know, every night just log on to the website and just check the trade alerts page because some of the email programs are classing it as spam so they're not delivering them every day so I did put out a video I know one of you guys didn't get it because I've just checked on my sort of monitoring system one of you guys on Thursday night did not get my analysis video and that was uh, you know quite a detailed one so just jump onto the trade alerts page this video now I'm not putting on the trade alerts page because I'm going to do a formal video sometime tomorrow or Monday and I'm going to do my normal thing where I go for around 30 minutes, 40 minutes analyzing stocks but I just wanted to get this video out to you guys because uh, I know some of you have jumped on the short side so I'm not convinced this is a short at this point plus so let's go to the hourly chart now and look at what happened yesterday um, you know the 20 MA is moving upwards yeah and, and that's just sort of a, a mild pullback 20 MA is moving upwards, the 50 MA is now turned upwards on the hourly chart and we've pulled back because we're into the 200 MA so uh, you know, I think we're going to go sideways for a couple of days but I still think we float higher, again I may be wrong but I do not see an opportunity, I do not see a good solid setup to, to come crashing down on, 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 on Tuesday when we reopen you know, if I'm wrong, um, you know, all our longs you know, should have break even, mental break even stops in place especially that VXX trade um, that we are in holding until March, you know, if I'm wrong and this thing suddenly starts turning lower then make sure we stop out of that uh, VXX, right, we don't take any chances with that um, it's not up sufficiently for us to take profits, so there's nothing to do except have a mental uh, break even I mean, you know, if this is a top, again, 
the moving averages are, are, are pointing upwards. You know, what I'd want to see then before jumping on the short side or, or before me being convinced that yes, that's a top, you know, this 20 MA has got to turn downwards first. And it may take a few days. If it is going to do that, it may take a couple of days. It's not just going to come down suddenly. As I've explained, on the 7th last week, there was a reason for it coming straight down. Uh, what's likely to happen is that we will just float higher. I'll leave it there, guys. And I'll do a longer video sometime on Sunday or Monday. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. And, you know, feel free to fire off any questions on the Facebook page. But as I say, um, I'm going to post the formal video on the Trade Alerts page. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.